Today, a special on the Delta variant of the coronavirus. With the help of the biodigital human, I'm going to be talking about what the Delta variant of coronavirus is, whether it's more transmissible, so whether it's more easily spread from human to human, whether it's more deadly and dangerous, and crucially, how you can protect yourself against the Delta variant. So first of all, what is the Delta variant? Well, it was discovered in India in the fall, but it's rapidly spread across the globe. It's estimated that about 99% of new cases in the United Kingdom are the Delta variant. Across Europe, it's estimated by the end of August, it'll be about 90% of new cases will be Delta variant. And here in the United States, somewhere between 25 and 40% of new cases are the Delta variant. So it's very, very rapidly spreading. What is it though? Why is it different? Well, if you look at this, this is SARS-CoV-2, so 3D interactive visualization of the coronavirus. And these are spike proteins around the edge. The spike proteins give coronavirus its name. These are these orange things, because if you look at them under an electron microscope, it looks like it's wearing a crown and crown in Latin is corona. So the Delta variant has a mutation in the spike protein. And it's thought that that mutation in the spike protein makes this virus more transmissible. The reason being is if we go to another chapter, you'll see that spike protein binds to ACE2 receptor when it enters the human body. So this is the ACE2 receptor here. This is the coronavirus. And this is the spike protein binding to ACE2 receptor. It's thought that it binds more easily to these ACE2 receptors in the Delta variant and therefore is more able to infect more people. It goes into our cells, replicates, goes to infect other cells, and then you can infect other people. It's also thought that that mutation offers some type of protection against our immune system. Here, these green shaped objects are antibodies, and they typically bind to the spike protein to prevent it from then binding to ACE2 receptors to infect us. But it's thought that this new mutation offers some protection against antibodies and also some protection against immune cells that usually destroy the virus. Not complete protection against our immune system, but some protection, which makes it more easily transmitted from human to human. Is it more deadly? Is it more dangerous? Well, not necessarily. Evidence suggests that it's not more dangerous nor more deadly than the other viruses, the other variations and variants of coronavirus. But it doesn't mean that we need to sit back, relax, and stop protecting ourselves against it. How do you protect yourself against the Delta variant specifically? You protect yourself against the Delta variant in exactly the same way as you protect yourself against the other variants of coronavirus. You wash your hands in certain instances, wear a mask and social distance, and crucially, you get vaccinated. Vaccination is the key to solving the problem of coronavirus, including this variant. It's been shown that the current vaccines that we have, evidence suggests that they do work against this variant. Moderna just re released some information showing us that their vaccination does neutralize this Delta variant. So get vaccinated, get fully vaccinated. That means two vaccines for a lot of vaccines out there and one vaccine for J&J. &J. After two weeks from your final vaccine, that means you are fully vaccinated. Really important to get vaccinated. For any more information, go to biodigital.com. This was a Dr. Tom talk on the Delta variant of coronavirus.